Well, today we're going to take a look at two pairs, not four, but two <laughs> pairs of Vertex pants. I have just hiked up to just over 12,000 feet in the Vertex Fusion LT pants, took the Vertex Hide LT pants out to a day at the range and had a blast. Go! Go! And so we're going to break down both of these pants for you. We've had a chance to really use them a lot, get a good feel for them in different environments. You know, just didn't wear them to the office twice. And then I'm going to give you, you know, a review. We've taken it to the range. We've hiked with them, camped with them, done a lot of stuff. So I can give you a full comprehensive video on what Vertex is doing with their new line of pants. So let's go ahead, break these things down and see what they have to offer. Well, all right, here we are. We're going to take a look at these pants. Now I did a couple runs of these and, uh, the video turned out to be like 20 minutes. I'm like, who's gonna watch a 20 minute pant video? So I'm gonna try and narrow this down as quick as I can, give you the down and dirty, and tell you what I think about these. Some of the main things that really stood out to me, uh, we'll have links over not only to Amazon as soon as these are available, but also to um, the Vertex website, so you can see a little bit more in detail. I just wanna give you some basic um, run-throughs of this, and we're gonna be running a lot of footage of camping trips we took these on, um, hiking trips we took this on, days at the range for both of these pants, so these really had a good thrash so I could give you a full comprehensive feel for the pants. Now, right out of the gate, I'll say this for these two pants. These are going to run in at $90 MSRP. We will have, again, the links below. Uh, Vertex did send these over to us, and I want to thank them for their uh, willingness to do that so we could give you guys a comprehensive video for you to determine which of these two pants is best or of these pants the right ones for you at all that's what i hope to answer in this video for you guys so go check them out you know and, and that price point for you know technical pants like this when you look at like cool when you look at 511 when you look at several other companies that are out there like this uh, that's about the going rate anywhere between 70 and 100 dollars just depends on who what when where why now uh these would both be in my opinion uh put in the lightweight pant category they're not like super ultra thin they're going to tear out on you they're very reinforced but they're not super heavy duty if it was like you know 25 degrees out the wind is blowing and it's snowing these wouldn't be the most comfortable i would say these are definitely at home in the summertime or if you're wearing like long johns underneath so that is one thing and part of that is just with the material that they've decided to go with and particularly their vapor core system which is awesome for breathability so those hot days at the range where it might be humid it's hot you're out there all day particularly like you range instructors those type of things these are going to breathe fantastically well. Their vapor core system, that is what they call it, and their particular, uh, I believe it's their um, proprietary brand of nylon that they integrate into this, uh, really does breathe fantastically well. You know, when you see that on paper, you're like, okay, everybody says they got some proprietary breathing, you know, whatever. Not the case. These do really work, and I was very happy with them, and they both beat up water really well as well. You know, they're not like those old, like, 511 pants. I remember having a pair from back in the day. They were Teflon coated, so they were like almost waterproof, but man, you're like wearing trash bags around your legs and you're sweating like crazy. Not the case. You're still going to get a lot of good um, water resistance and beating up, but they're going to breathe like crazy. And I will be annotating in below the, these are both, um, the LT versions are made out of the five ounce, I believe is what it's rated for, um, material that I'm popping up on the screen. So you can just kind of see there, you know, it's got cotton as well as polyester and nylon all integrated into one. Both of these have the same, um, percentages for each design. Now the fusion is much more of like your, uh, cargo style pants that I would wear you know, um, hiking to the range. Uh, they're a little bit baggier. They're a little bit more free flowing. You know, so if you like that cut and that style, particularly you need a lot of mobility and movement, I would say that the fusions are the way to go. The hide is much more and kind of implying that name of your hiding. They're, they're low profile. The hide would be something I would feel comfortable going into a business meeting and wearing these and then hitting the range for a few hours afterwards, something like that. Um, they still have a lot of mobility to them, but they're much more of, of uh, not much more, but they're a little bit slimmer cut. Um, they still fit me great. You know, they're not, I hate slim fit jeans and stuff. I, they're still like a regular cut, but they're just slimmer than and not as baggy as the fusions are. So they're much more of like a um, business casual than the, the fusions, I would say, are much more just uh, hiking outdoorsy cuts uh, type of pants. And I will say as we go through here, basically the fusions I have zero complaints with. Fantastic outdoorsy range, hiking, baggy, 
camping, whatever you want to do, outdoor type of lightweight pants. These things are fantastic. 100% thumbs up for the Fusion LTs. The Hyde LTs, um, they're good. I have two um, kind of things that are a little annoying to me. You're going to have to decide, are they annoying to you uh, or not? That doesn't mean that I don't like them, but I would say if I'm giving these 100%, I would give these like maybe an 80% on uh, how they are designed. So we'll go ahead and hit all that today and talk you through that. So let's go ahead and take a look. First off is sizing. These are both 34, 34s. That's what I buy in literally every pair of pants I own. And if it doesn't fit me in a 34, 34, I'm probably not going to wear them or I'm going to have to probably go with the length. That's the main thing. And uh, I, these fit me both well in the, in the hips and in the thighs. A lot of these types of pants that are more stylish, you know, if you go to like buy a pair of Levi's a lot of times like they're too tight around the thighs or you know they're you know super tight around your crotch not the case on either of these they really did a good job around the hips around the thighs uh, I really like the overall cut the length on the on the um, fusions were perfect this is my first critique with the hide now um, when you're standing they are a perfect uh, uh, length. There, there's no issues. They don't feel like they're riding up too high or anything like that. The issue is when you sit down, just the way that they're cut, man, do they ride up high, like a lot, like really high, like, you know, a pair of Dockers would. Um, so, uh, I, and I just don't really prefer that. I would have liked to have them about an inch lower when I'm like crossing my legs or, you know, I'm sitting there, you know, tying my shoes. Uh, and particularly if you do take the hides out to the range, um, you know, or something like that, you're going to probably want to wear high top boots or crew uh, socks. And that's what I found. Like you've got to be wearing crew length socks with the hides if you get your normal length. So I would recommend going one size longer than what you are normally used to. And you probably won't have quite that issue. Now, th right now, 34s were the longest that they had in the hides. Hopefully in the future, they will um, extend their um, lengths. That is not the case with the fusions. The fusions, they did have 36 lengths and pretty large on the waist. Again, you can hop over over to their website, see everything that they got there. So uh, that is something to note. I would say that the uh, fusions are true to size. The um, the hides, though true to size when you're standing, right up really high just because of the way they're cut. So you would want to go one size larger on the length. All right, the side pockets on the Fusion are awesome. They're that you know normal cargo style that you would expect. Uh, there is no buttons or zippers for the main dump pocket, just a kind of a nice seamed over uh, dump, which I really like. And then underneath that, we have YKK zippered up and down uh, pockets. So if you want something to go on your side pockets, like your wallet or your phone, and you don't want it to accidentally fall out if you're running and gunning, then you can throw it in here, zip it up. You can even leave these open. There's a nice mesh underneath and they add uh, extra breathability if it's a super hot day and you don't have anything in there. Those are ambidextrous on, on, on either side of the Fusion. Then on the hide, we have two different styles here. First off, we have this kind of angled setup right here, which uh, I did was able to put uh, mags, AR mags in both of these, which was awesome. And then kind of a recessed one on the other. Then right in front of there is another YKK zippered stash pocket that faces backwards that again, you could put a wallet in, no problem. It's about this large right here, your cell phones, no issues. And that's gonna be kind of on your upper thigh area. And again, breathable mesh so that you can open those up if you wish. So those are kind of the side pockets that you're gonna look at on both of these pairs of pants. Then you're gonna have your basic normal, you know, back pockets right here. Now the Fusions are going to have two spare pockets on the back that are designed to hold your AKAR mags, which is awesome. So you could technically, and they're ambidextrous on either side, so lefties, you got the same layout. So you could carry two mags and do practice your mag changes if you forgot your battle belt or you didn't want to take all your stuff that day and you went to the range. You could totally do that. So I love the fact that they are able to carry your AR and AK mags, your larger magazines, and give you that capability. It's just fantastic. I mean, you almost don't even need a battle belt or uh, chest rig when you're carrying this if you're just wanting to, to practice some mag changes which is awesome on the hides you have these angled pockets right here 
on the back side. Now we were doing pistol mags. They fit great for pistol mags. You can do them with your AK and AR mags as well. You just wanted to show you what that looks like. And they're basically gonna become flush right there along your waist with your belt, which is awesome. So we were doing practices with your pistol mags, which is great, but you can also do the larger mags right there. And then again, you can stuff them in here on these little high, uh, side pockets as well. I will say that the Fusions definitely have deeper pockets on both here and here. Uh, so they will ride deeper and you can probably do more without them falling out than on the hide. So that is something to consider. But you know, for just running and gunning or just standing there and practicing your mag changes while you're standing at the range, it definitely is doable and they work great for pistol mags on the hide. So now as we look at the front pockets here, both of these are gonna have reinforced lips, which is really nice, both versions, but they're not overly thick. Like uh, my cool pants that I own, the, the reinforcement is so thick, I basically can't wear my pocket knives or I really gotta kinda like jam them over the side or have really goofy deep ride, you know, loop over whatevers. They really gotta be specific, otherwise I can't carry them. They're not the case on these. I can easily get my clips for my flashlights, my multi-tools, and my um, knives, no problem, over this reinforcement, but I still have that reinforcement, so it's gonna take a lot longer to thrash the pockets on both of these designs. Both are very nice and deep with mesh on the interior, which is really nice. You can see my hand going all the way down here past the frame. So you're gonna get a lot of uh, stash capability. You know, they're not super shallow and they're not goofy in that sense. And uh, one thing I wanted to also touch on with the Fusions are that you are gonna get a little bit of elastic give on the waist. I kind of forgot to hit that with you. Uh, and then when we go back to the pocket discussion, one of the things that the hides kind of claim to fame, not only do they have your little coin pocket that the Fusions will not have down here, but they have an extra large pocket here on the front. That's something that they kind of purpose designed. It's about an inch and a half wider mouth than on the Fusions. So it's even easier to get your hand in there without really losing anything. It's still very contoured, which was really nice to see. I really enjoyed having that extra space. Here's the issue, and this is the second part of the thing that's kind of quirky in the designing of the hide. You can see here that the front belt loops are about an inch tighter in than on the Fusion. Now the Fusion is your average you know, design, lots of space here, I would say about six inches right here, whereas this is about four. Now what that means is twofold. One, if you like to appendix carry, and I do with your pistol, what ends up happening is you have a belt buckle and a pistol clip uh, for your holster, both fighting for a four inch area, and it's just not very cohesive. It's very goofy, and you're fighting for that little space right there. Normally my clip would go basically right where this uh, loop is. So I would have liked to see these loops moved over. Now that's be caused because these um, pockets come in more, but I mean, they could have easily worked with some stuff. So it's just really goofy. I've never owned a pair of pants with having the front belt loops so close together here. Uh, and if you have larger belt buckles, you know, it's gonna be kind of goofy for you to fight with that. Um, now, if you don't appendix carry your concealed carry firearm or you don't even have a concealed carry firearm, you're probably not gonna notice it too much. Uh, the other issue is if you have soft either nylon or leather belts, there is not, a, there's a longer space from this loop to this loop than there is from this loop to the next one. So it's what tends to happen is that you have this belt hang down and then it's gonna stick underneath your shirt or whatever and you know it's gonna be really close to your crotch. So it's uh, not very appealing to look at. Now again, if you have a stiff leather belt or you have a nylon belt that feeds away, not a big issue, but just too little, it, it was quirky to me. Now I was able to work around it. I was still able to conceal carry my appendix um, in the appendix you know, location. It was just a little bit closer to the front than what I prefer. Uh, so that is something just to consider when you are looking at it. So it was goofy, it wasn't like undo, you know, unmanageable, but it was just something I wanted to point out to you guys. Finally, did wanna hit the fact that we do have these nice buttons right here that feed through, you know, they're not like a snap, so much stronger than that. And then you got your YKK, you know, uh, metal or aluminum zippers, and that's gonna be both for both of these designs. Well, folks, there you have it. I hope this video has helped you out decide which of the two, either the Fusion LT or the Hyde LT, Vertex pants are the right ones for you. I think they both in their layouts have great benefit just depending on what you would want them to do for you and what you're looking for out of your pants. So I wanna thank you so much for coming over today, watching this video. Hope it's helped you make a wise choice on which ones will be best suited for your needs. As always, please subscribe, comment, like, share this video. Love to hear your guys' thoughts. Any questions you have, I'll answer in the comments below. Check us out on all the relevant social media. Check out the subscribe button that's popping up. Uh, we're posting up videos every single week. The most current video, uh, as well. You can watch those. We're all cranking out videos every single week for you guys, giving you in-depth reviews and concept videos. And finally, always remember, stay equipped, stay prepared, 
and we'll see you out there.